What's up guys, welcome back to the first level of the video, 66 smithing, I know it's getting pretty crazy already, but don't worry about it. Uh, so I'm just gonna work off of the 2k total plan that I mentioned last video, I just typed up a notepad sort of template guide that I'm gonna be using to get to 2k total, and we're gonna start off with some blast furnace clips. Alright, so with 73 smithing out of the way, it's time to use these 3k addy bars. I got just enough XP, hopefully that is, uh, to get 75 smithing right with these uh, 3k addy bars. So we're going to be making all of these into dart tips, and then I can probably get like 83 fletching off the darts. Uh, I'm not completely sure, but let's get to smithing, I guess. Hey, first level off darts coming in, 1784 total. And uh, one level to go, 2k addy bars to go. These things are so slow and I have to keep track of my boost and I've lost it about six times now. I'm really not good with this, I'm sorry. Final level that I'm gonna be getting for a very long time, 75 smithing, 1785 total. Um, so, that is the smithing requirement for Adam and Spears, which you may or may not know is a requirement for the Kandarin Hards. And I'm actually going to be doing this so I can use the Sears course to get 76 agility for the uh, Zolra shortcut. I'm going to be preparing for uh, Zolra in the near future, but yeah, there's 75 smithing, 125k to the next level. Alright, so I've started the Kandarin Hard Diaries now. Uh, the first task on there is to kill a Mithril Dragon, or the first task I decided to do. I'm about to do a uh, Taibu Wanai Trio. Uh, well, actually, I was going to make the Hosta first, that's why I kept an Addy Bar on me. But then I realized that I actually needed the Taibu Wanai Trio quest, so... Yeah, we gotta do that, and I've gotta kill a Mithril Dragon, and I don't have a Stab Weapon or a Trident, so this could end pretty poorly for me, but we'll probably be fine. Hey, we killed it. Easy peasy. Oh, not even any Chewed Bones. What is this? Alright, this quest was uh, kind of a nightmare. Honestly, I don't like this quest at all. Um, well, this will actually get me to 200 quest points, so that's pretty chill. 2.5k of those, 5k of that. Now we got a uh, another Slayer block. Alright, so I finished this Barbarian Assault stuff, I got the Granite Plate Body, which was my last task, thank god. Granite Plate Body looking slick though. So as far as I know, there are two good rewards from this uh, diary, and uh, this headgear honestly doesn't do it justice, because it's kind of shit looking, honestly. Uh, I think the fourth one is the best, and this should be 64 of lore. Easy. Alright. So uh, this allows me to teleport to Sears straight away, so I can actually really efficiently train agility now. And I'm going to be finishing off these darts on the course. So another thing I just realized is that with the Candor and Hards, uh, you actually get 10% extra chance to like use a bolt spec. And um, that's actually going to be really useful for Sarah. Anyway, uh, I am prepping for Zora in the next few weeks, so 76 agility will be enough for the shortcut. So that's what I'm going to use, and uh, this should take quite a while. I'm going to make as many darts as I can on this course as well, but without that like long walk, you don't really get much time to make them. Hey, there's 76 agility. That gives us the Zolra shortcut that I was looking for. We will be able to do Zolra in the next few weeks, uh, definitely. Will I get to it? I'm not sure. I'm kind of prioritizing skills right now. I also got uh, one fletching level from that. I made 13k darts, and this last half should get me to 82, so that's pretty cool. Also, I got a lot of marks of grace, so I'm actually going to go color my graceful. I'm not sure what color yet, but I only have two unlocked, and personally, I'm kind of feeling the green. Oh man, this looks dope. The, the chest piece has like a little neon glow to it that I never actually noticed before. It actually looks pretty sick, so now we have another 139 marks of grace to use, so I think I'm just going to go buy Amelie's and slowly finish up these darts. Alright, let's buy 13 Amelie's packs, there we go, 9 marks of grace left, ugh. So I'm not sure what I want to do with these last 9 marks of grace, honestly I'm not feeling going back to the course, so I think I'm going to drop them and hope you guys forgive me. Oh, unexpected fletching level. Actually, it's kind of expected because I totally planned this. And also, uh, 
I've got a palm tree here, which isn't exactly for a farming level, but it is a hard task in Artie, so not bad. So I've decided that the next thing I want to do on this count is get 80 thieving. Now, the whole reason behind it is I actually need a lot of money. Uh, at 80 thieving, I'm going to go get the rogue set, and for the Lumbi elites, I'm going to need at least like 12, 13 mil, because I need like 83 smithing. That is a lot of money. I think that's like another 1.5 mil XP. So I'm going to need a lot of money for that as well as some other things. So I'm going to get 80 thieving real quick. Whatever I do beyond that, I don't really know. But uh, I'm also going to be farming every time I need to go get food. So if you want to pay attention to my herbs and stuff, uh, you can go ahead and do that if you want. And he misses the 1800 total. What am I even doing with my life? Oh, poor guy. His bot broke. He's just opening and closing this door. And 80 thieving. Easy peasy, man. Uh, that actually didn't take nearly as long as I thought. The, uh, the thieving rates really get up there. Once you get like 75 thieving, you barely fail pretty much. Uh, at 95, this is going to be luxury though, you're not going to be able to fail, so I can literally just AFK this thing for days. But, for now, uh, I've decided I'm going to do construction instead of getting the rogue set, because the rogue set is really annoying to get, and it's actually much easier if you have an upgraded POH and you have your stuff in stashes. So that's what I'm going to do, and uh, yeah, I'll see you then. So I just got the flam tar bag, which I need for construction. I'm actually going to be doing the limestone method, and I just got it on my first chest. Also, why did I drop those nature runes? What am I doing? Uh, so yeah, I just got a first chest. I'm going to go gear up for construction, and I'm going to hopefully grind this all the way to 80 so I can make the master stash boost. There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days To get away To see you again See you again Been finding ways To get away To see you again I think this may just have been the worst grind to date. I have never been more annoyed with something just because of how click intensive it is. Like, I couldn't really focus on much else, although maybe that's just my mindset to the whole thing. There's 80 construction, 1825 total as well. Thank god this is over. We can now build pretty much like a maxed POH. I'm a few levels off. I'm not going to be building the max jewelry box or anything, but we just unlocked so much stuff there. Um, so we're also, uh, if you notice, about 4k away from uh, 75 mil XP. So I'm going to try to get that with these, although I'm not going to be able to. So I guess we'll get it once, we're, once we start building like the things in our house. I guess it's going to be like a little home improvement session with, uh, with Settled, so... Uh, yeah, let's go pimp out our house, I guess. Alright, so I had to go through the abyss so I can get some cosmic runes, or craft some rather. And uh, I've got the all the things enchanted, so, um, oops, wait, okay. There we go, basic jewelry box. I'm not going to be needing anything else, there's also 75 mil total. Also not very important, but I guess it's a cool little milestone, you only hit it once. 
So yeah, we've got so many useful teleports. Also, when I go for 99 fire making, I'm gonna have Winter Todd there. Tears of Guthix is pretty nice. All of these are very, very useful, so. I oh, can't drop those. So, uh, I guess that's gonna be it. Uh, in another video, probably a separate one, just like a little mini video, I'm gonna pimp out my house to the max, because I'd like to build, like, this lunar altar, for example, but I don't feel like buying 10,000 astro runes right now, so. There are a lot of things that I want to build, such as this fairy ring, uh, that requires mushrooms, and I need to do fairy tale part 2, and I also want to build the, uh, this pool, but I can only get, like, one of them, I can't upgrade to the stamina one, so, I guess we'll see what I do next video. Uh, for now, this has been it, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I will, uh, catch you later.